I'll wait just a minute for some more people to hop on. Hi, UK. What time is it there? Is it evening time? I think that works out about right. Like nine o'clock in the evening. There's Charlotte. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, okay. It is two o'clock in the afternoon. Ooh, that lighting is really bad. Two o'clock in the afternoon here. And we are going to make the Marcel barrel bag. Give me that piece of paper, baby. By Sincerely Jen. It's her newest pattern. And I know a couple people have done tutorials on it already. Um, I'm pretty sure Lauren Mormino, she did one. And Jen herself, Jenny has um, the tutorial for this bag. And I have just really been wanting to sew it up. So I thought, let's try this. I've never done it before, so I may make some mistakes. I have heard that it's a little tricky on the end with the two end pieces because you bind them. So um, I have heard people say that's the part that kind of catches them off and uh, they struggle with. So I may struggle. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, yay. Okay, so I am using um, cotton, vinyl, and waterproof canvas. I'm hoping my stuff is not too thick. I'm a little concerned about being it thick when I bind it. So if you have a domestic and you're wanting to make this, do all cotton. Um, Cause I don't think if you have a domestic that you will be able to bind the two ends uh, if you use a vinyl or a thicker material. I think, I've never made it. Oh, somebody says, hi, Kathleen. Oh. Say hi, Kathleen. Hello. <laughs> I swore lots making mine, Sharon. <laughs> I know, I think you're the one that I was responding to. So hopefully I won't swear on camera. Um, <laughs> I'm worried about the binding part and I'm worried about being able to turn it back through. Um, it seems like it's kind of hard. So let's try it. Um, again, we're doing the Marcel Barrel Bag by Sincerely Jen. That's going to be the shape. That's what it's gonna look like. I think it's an adorable pattern and design. I love the way the pockets are done. So, Yay, let's do it. Okay. Bye. All right, go on out, baby girl. So I have prepped a lot of this pattern already. I have added some of my straps. I have put my snaps on already um, because those are pretty um, straightforward. There's markings on the pattern pieces for where all of your magnetic snaps go. So I already added those. I'll just show, oh, that lighting. I'm gonna have to fix this light, just a second. I always do that. Too close. There we go. Okay, yay! We got a good crowd going. So as always, I will try to answer questions and respond. If I don't, ask them again, and I will try my best to be looking up to respond to you guys, but I really try to get these live sewn in two hours or less. I don't know if that's gonna be possible. So we're gonna try though. All right, oh, hi sister. All right, we ready for this? I will show you my pieces. I will show you what I have done already. I have already, yeah, you do need to come read my comments, Susan, that would be super helpful. <laughs> All right, let me move my lighting in here. So I have, put that over there. I have already made my handles and I did make them a little bit longer. Let's see, I made them 20 inches because I don't like short handles. So I made these 20 inches long. I just... Yeah, I feel like that's a good length. Maybe you could even go 24, actually, if you don't like the shorter handles. I think that would be good. I have my crossbody strap here, already finished. It's just a normal crossbody strap. And then, let's see, I put on all my snaps, okay? So here are my outside 
main panel pieces. I've got my snaps on there. I've got it protected with just some duct tape this time. Um, hi guys. Hi, Laura. Hi, Suzette. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> You've been working on it for four days. Shoot. Hi, Pammy. Um, I'm a little worried. I chose, I've never made this again. I chose vinyl for this part. It may be too thick. We'll see. But I did keep my Decaville light out of my seam allowances. I'm using Decaville light instead of foam because of the shape that I want it to have. Um, isn't this fabric cute? I think it's from Lovey's Custom Fabrics. I think that's right. I think it's adorable and perfect for this month. Um, I've got my snaps already on there. Okay, on both of those. These are my inside lining, or my outside lining pocket pieces, okay? Those are my snaps, I've already done those. And these will be the front side of my pocket. And I did, I'm using um, a new interfacing from Seem So Awesome that I kind of give a review on my Facebook group. It's the Fusa, ooh, I forget which one this is. It's the lightweight of the two heaviest. So it's kind of like a Decaville light, and I really like it so far. I like the way it feels. We'll see if it wrinkles when I turn it out. Kind of experimenting with it. Did that on both pieces. Okay, so this piece I've already put my connectors on. I put my name tag on just to cut down on time. Okay, so I will show you how I did that on the other piece. And I will start sewing. Yay, let me get the pattern up here so I don't mess up too much. <laughs> All right, so I am going to add my connectors onto the other side of my panel. So you're going to have six of these connectors in total, okay? And I have drawn lines down the middle, put some double-sided tape. Let me get all my, doop, doop. okay. All right, so we wanna find our middle, which I think I've clipped. Did I clip it? Nope, I didn't. So you wanna find your center, however you like to find your centers. This is how I like to do it. Hi, Nicole, yay. Thanks for being here and help moderate. All right. And then I'm going to put a mark down my center. I'm going to move the camera just a little bit and more. There we go. Okay, Little Lovey's Fabric. Yep, that's what oh, my chalk pin just got all over. Um, I absolutely love the prints I got. I got some like 90210 prints. I got this Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse print. Uh, I got some 80s MTV stuff. I got some really cool prints from them, so... Let's see, so you wanna do one and three fourths away from that center mark. My chalk pen is just like throwing chalk at me. Okay, one and three fourths. And then you want to get your connectors, line down the middle, double-sided tape, Fold your raw edges in. Again, you will have six total of these and you do them all the same way. I already did some of mine ahead of time. All right. Yay. It's I feel like it's hot everywhere right now. It's even hot here in Colorado. And we have a huge hornet problem on our front porch. It has not been fun. I think they made a nest inside of the siding of our house. So that's awesome. <laughs> All right. So you want it to be seven inches total when you're done with it. So I'm going to put some more double-sided tape there. I'm just going to peel off this top part here. Put on my ring. And I like to just measure it out right here. Sorry, you can't totally see right there. I've got my little ruler on my sewing table, okay? So that, just make sure they're all the same length. 
Looks good. All right, and then you wanna place them to the right and to the left of these lines, okay, on the outside of them. Make sure that you do that the same way. Okay, again, you just do this on both panels and I will show you the side panel as well. All right, I'm gonna have to get a rag and wipe off the chalk. All right, so there are my two handles. I'm going to make sure they match my other piece. We're good. Okay. And we are going to sew those on. There we go. Again, I have never sewn this pattern up either, guys. So we're gonna figure this one out together. I've kind of listened to what people have struggled on. So I kind of know where some of the hard parts are. So hopefully we can figure out a way to make them doable. I do think with this pattern, um, some of it has to do with what materials you use. I feel like the more stiff, thicker materials, it's gonna be harder to make. Susan, I know, I know. <laughs> Susan lives in like 118 degree weather and I'm saying it's hot here in the 90s, so yeah. It is hot. <laughs> okay, so that's one. Go ahead and repeat with the other. Okay, hot Texas, I'm sure. I know, I'm a wuss here in Colorado, but it's hot for us right now. I think everybody's ACs are going out because they're having to run so much and they're not used to it. <laughs> Remember to protect your vinyl if you have hardware up here and you're using a walking foot. Very important. You don't wanna rip that vinyl up. Ooh, San Diego. San Diego is the place to be right now, for sure. Okay, so that's what your front and back panel of your packet. This is my my main pocket panels on my outside looks like, okay? So do that and I will add some rivets in just a minute after I do my sides. All right, so now we're gonna do our side piece here. Same exact way, okay? So we have our connector and you're gonna have two of these. I've already done one. Whoops, stuck to my hand. All right, same way, fold it in. Just like that, piece of tape. Hi, Margaret from New York. Ooh. You're at work in Pennsylvania, Sandy. I am gonna do binding. I'm gonna do it like the pattern has. So I am going to use waterproof canvas to bind it. So hopefully it works. Hopefully, guys, never done it. I've done binding, so hopefully I'm thinking this will be okay, but. I feel like it might be tricky with the size of this. So we'll see. Okay, I've got my line, my center line, and I'm just going to start at the bottom here. My center. And go up. 
right there. Um, Nicole, this vinyl is just fabric.com. Just marine vinyl. I've watched Jen do her pattern drop in and binding. Um, Lauren Mormino did binding as well. I have, I guess I haven't watched the drop in tutorial of this bag. I've watched the binding ones, but I haven't watched the drop in. So if binding sounds horrible for you, try the drop in. Okay, so I am going to put my rivets on these real quick. I'm just gonna move you this way though because my stuff is set up right here. You see my messy table next to my camera. <laughs> okay, so I need to put rivets. You don't have to use rivets. Um, I like the extra security and the look. So I am going to do that. I am also gonna be selling um, hardware kits for this bag. Starting Monday when all of my other new hardware drops. So if you want some hardware for this, I'll set out. Check it out on Monday. Okay. Hi, Drew from London. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody's tables look messy when they're doing these projects, huh? Okay. I really wanted all rainbow hardware, but I did not have all rainbow. So I'm using black rivets, which I think look okay. All right. And there, let me add two more. Thank you, Elaine. Hi, Beatrice. Hi, Anna. Let's try the other side here. Okay, that is all my rivets. I won't need them again, I don't think. I already, well, no, I'll need them for my handles. I'll put more rivets in my handles, actually. Okay. So that is what I've got, front and back. And so for these side panels, I'm gonna go ahead and add my lining panel to it. See, this is my purple waterproof canvas. I've already basted that on. They are wrong sides together because again, we're binding this pattern. So let's go ahead and do the other side real quick and get that out of the way so I don't forget. And I will move you back over here and plug you back in. Sorry about that. Here we go. Okay, so again, right sides together for this. And you just wanna line it all up and I'm just gonna baste it. Hot Southern, yeah, Southern California probably is hot, huh, Joni? Um, this tool can be found on Amazon. It's a Japanese hole punch. I do have an Amazon shop where I list all of the tools that I like to get off of Amazon, and it's on there. Um, it's linked in my Facebook, and I can link it. It's linked in a lot of my videos in the description. So go check out that if you're looking for that tool, my Amazon shop called a Japanese screw hole punch, I think, I believe. Okay, I'm just basting these together.
missed it right up here. Just a minute. Oh, my thread just broke. All right. Ta-da. All right, go ahead and put your side panels aside. Done with those. And what do we have next? All right, I already added my magnetic snaps to my pieces. Okay, so next we wanna put our pockets together for the outside. So I've already added my snaps on this inside pocket, slip pocket piece or outside, inside slip. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. My outside lining piece of my slip pocket. There we go. All right, so that's my inside part. That's my outside. Okay, here we go. Hi, guys. Um, when will I get more zipper tape? Oh, the zipper tape is stuck in customs currently. I ordered it months ago, and it hasn't moved. So I don't know when it will come in, unfortunately. All right, so we want to match this up. And we are just sewing along this top curved area. All right, so we're just sewing. There's like, it comes off a little bit right here. We're starting there and we're coming up and around and half inch seam allowance. And I'm gonna try and stay right to the, you know, side of my heavier interfacing here and sew all the way around, okay? Let me fix my thread. So this outside material is just a cotton. And then my purple, my dark purple I'm using is a waterproof uh, canvas. And then the pink is a vinyl. All right. Here we go. Why do I use their Cricut Maker to cut out pattern pieces? I don't know. Hello from the Netherlands. Hello from Massachusetts. All right, here we go. So a half inch seam allowance. And just move you in just a little bit. Okay, here we go. And I shorten my stitch length for this too. I go from like a four to a five when I sew pretty much. Okay, here, 116 in Tucson, yuck. <laughs> All right, let me see. Trim seam allowance, just this part though. And I think I'm gonna use some pinking shears on this. Okay, because you want that nice little curve right here. If you don't have a pair of pinking shears and you wanna sew more bags with curves, I suggest you get some, they are very convenient and they help a lot. Okay, so we want to turn it out and then we're gonna top stitch that. Corners all pressed nice. I've got nice sharp pointy nails right now, so <laughs> helps a lot. All right. 
And I'm just gonna kinda clip these all into place here. So I think in the pattern, it recommends using fleece um, for this outside panel pocket. But I've also seen the bags with the fleece be kind of floppy on the pocket part. So that's why I used a bit of a stiffer interfacing for it. We'll see how it works. I'm a little worried when I turn it through, but hopefully it'll be fine. You just never know. Okay, so I'm going to top stitch just along where I have sewn. All right, I'm not gonna do anywhere else, just along where I've sewn. Top stitch is done at an eighth of an inch, and my stitching's about a five to five and a half. All right, looks good. So there's my first panel. All right, so, uh, are you using the interfacing? Yes, so I used the like one that was kind of similar to the Decaville um, light on this pocket piece to try out. And it looks like it, I sewed through it, no issues. I really like the way it feels too. So yes, I'm trying some of that out. I also am trying some of their lighter stuff on my inside pieces. Okay. So go ahead and just repeat with this next pocket piece on the other side. Same steps. Um, have I ever done the minimalist wallet? I haven't. Which designer is that by? Is the length of stitches different on an industrial? I'm pretty sure it is. That's why when people ask me what stitch length I'm using, I'm like, well, it kind of depends on your machine, but that's what my machine is set at. Okay, here we go. Hi, Rochelle from Wyoming. Here we go. Okay, same thing. Half inch seam allowance, just around this top. Oh, by Noodlehead. I have never sewn that one up. Um, she does not allow many videos of her patterns because she likes to do them herself. So I'm sure she probably has a video of her making that one. But I have not done that one. Here we go. Yep, this is Sincerely Jen. 
I'll link it below when I'm done. Sorry I didn't do that ahead of time. Always mean to and then it gets away from me. I always add it after the fact though if I hadn't done it yet. All right, here we go. I love the way these pockets fill with that stiffer interfacing in it though. I definitely think, I hope that won't come back to bite me. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. <sighs> All right. And then we're going to top stitch. Okay. Here we go. Hi, Shelly. Oh, night shift. Oh, goodness. Jamie. Oh, congrats. That's exciting when you get a new machine. my needle when I started. I think I need a new needle. It might work better too. Okay. There we go. Ta-da! I got both panels done. Okay, I'm gonna change my needle real fast just because I forgot to do that beforehand. So hold please, just a minute. It'll just take me a second. All right, what's our next step? Let me look. Looks like the lining piece is the next step. All right, there we go. That should be better. Come on. There we go. All right, so go ahead and put your exterior aside and get your aligning pocket piece. You could totally add a zipper or I mean um, a zipper pocket on both sides. You could add a slip pocket to one side and a zipper to the other. You could not do a pocket at all. It's totally up to you. Um, yeah, here we go. I've got it measured an inch down from the top. Oops, and centered there. All right, and then I've got my box all mark it, marked out. So it should be about an inch from each side. All right, and then I'm gonna sew around that over the rectangle. Do I change the needle on every bag? No, not on every bag. I probably, I probably change it every other bag. Probably do about two bags per needle. I don't know. I think they say about eight hours of sewing and I feel like one bag is about four hours really from beginning to end. So I don't know. I could change my needles too much, but I'm okay with that. I'd rather have a good needle than one that's going bad and messes up my project. So I just stockpile them. Love. 
What did you say, Kathleen? Do you think you'll ever have one? Do I think I'll ever have one what? Love that zipper with it. Oh, this zipper tape? Is that what you're talking about? I absolutely love it. I got it as a sample. Um, what needle do I like to use? I use the Grows Beckert. I get them off of Waywack. And I usually use a size 18 with most of my bags. If I was doing more of an all leather bag, I would go up to a size 20. But I feel like an 18 is generally pretty good. If I'm doing an all cotton bag, I'll go down to a 16. So, but my normal size is the 18 for the most part. Okay. Um, do I think I'll ever have one in show rings on my site? Maybe. I'm not sure. I guess if there's a big enough want, I will. Does that answer your question, Kathleen? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Keeping a website with hardware fully stocked is like super hard and a job in and of itself. So, yeah. So my machine is similar. It's just the off brand to the Juki 1181N. If anybody's wondering. So that's pretty much what I'm sewing on. I'm gonna try to get away without ironing this. You think I can? I think I can. I think I can, I think I can. Oh, there goes a bobbin. All right. So I wanna get my zipper tape and my double-sided tape and install the zipper. Do you have a standard size you use for Vinyl bags, yeah, the 18. Sigh out when stuff gets stuck in customs. So the reason my stuff is stuck right now on a ship, they say it's because of the pandemic. They're giving no explanation. It has nothing to do with the supplier. It has to do with the boats. So unfortunately, there's like absolutely nothing I can do about it which totally sucks because I'm out that money already and now I just have to wait. I wish there was more American-made products. I think the Liberty bag, oh, calls for that size. You could still use the one, the bigger one though, with the Liberty bag, Kathleen. I don't think it would affect it too much. Could be wrong, but I don't think it would. All right, so I'm going to install my zipper. Um, Margaret, I don't know um, how big of needles you can go with domestic machines. I'm not quite, I'm not as experienced in that. Um, I know you can do 16 for sure, and I would definitely use at least a 16 if you're sewing bags on a domestic. I'm not sure about the 18. Hi, Diane. They can't get enough workers, Teresa? Yeah, that probably seems right. So, not much I can do about that. I try to do by air when I can, but sometimes it just is too costly. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to sew around that. I swear I'm gonna dump all my clips again, probably. <laughs> I tend to do that a lot. It scares the heck out of Marley Mae. She's over here sleeping in the corner.
Thank you, Diane. I really like this fabric too. I've been so excited to use it. So no need to leave this open since we're doing the binding method. So I'm just going to close this whole thing up. Okay, so I'm gonna clip it all together here and sew it up. And I'm not sure if it matters. Half inch seam allowance, she says. I really like the zipper tape too. Thanks guys. I'd love to carry something like this. Maybe he next order and I'll get it by Christmas. <laughs> uh, I've never really had a reason to use this before until I found this fabric. It's like the first time I feel like it's matched something I've made. Your needle size should correspond with your thread size. That sounds right. I use a Tech 70, so mine's pretty thick. I'm pretty sure if you use too small of a needle and too big of thread, your thread will shred. I have had, I've heard people having that issue and I'm pretty sure that's why that is happening. All right, I'm just trimming this top piece down just a tiny bit so it doesn't get caught in my top seam. Not much to it, but. And I'm gonna trim this little zipper tape down. And then we'll go to the next step. Make sure you melt that zipper raw zipper there. Okay, so there is my zipper pocket. All right, so next I want to do my top zipper. So let me get that piece out. There it is. All right, so I'm using zipper tape or zipper by the yard. So it's 11 inches total. And I put a cute little, look at those little mini mouse zips. Oh my gosh. I think I got that from Indo Love Creation. Um, she has the cutest pulls. I'm doing a double zip on it. You can do a single, it's up to you. And I'm just going to get my pieces. I've got one of my lining, one of my exterior. Okay, and then I'm going to sew across it, have fourth inch seam allowance. She says half inch. Mm. Will it be long enough if I do that? All right, half inch seam allowance. Oh, you know what? I think I did it going the wrong way. I did. I'm gonna have to cut out new ones. It's supposed to be going um, the long way. Do you see how I did it the short way? All right, that's okay. I'll have to go recut that real quick. So do it the long way, and then that makes more sense with that half inch seam allowance. I was like, they're gonna be too short. All right, that's better than fold them up and then top stitch.
Okay, I've got to unstitch this real quick and go cut a new set of tabs. I'll do it from this side. I would just cut a new zipper to be quicker, but I don't have any more of this zipper tape. I'm glad I saw that too, Kathleen. <laughs> I knew something looked wrong. I could tell. Okay, I'll be right, right back. Let me go cut new ones of this real fast. go. See? Real fast. <laughs> there we go. Fixed. Let's continue. Um, okay, this one on top. This one on bottom. Make sure they're right sides together. to take and start adding all of this to my main pieces. So here is my main exterior. I'm going to place it right side down and I'm going to baste it first before I add and then I'm going to add my lining and you do it like you do like a pouch. Okay, oh, actually big. So my zipper is right side to my main panel. to get my lining piece okay and then we're going to do it right sides together and your zipper is going to be sandwiched in the middle and then I'm going to do a fourth inch seam allowance with that on the top along my zipper okay catch up in this pattern here. Okay, here we go. So one fourth inch seam allowance here. My zipper's out of the way. Okay, so now I want to flip them so they're wrong sides together and my right sides are out and I'm going to top stitch along that, okay? Okay. 
actually, let me check my bobbin real quick. I'm okay. I have to change it, but not yet. Okay. All right, I'm going to top stitch that. Love the colors, thank you. I would try and say your name, but I'm not even sure on how to even pronounce it. It looks beautiful. Okay, so that is my first side, that's the back. So go ahead and take your other main panel and do the same thing, repeat. So I've got my main outside piece first baste it, and then add my lining. Mimi? Oh, okay. I'll call you Mimi. Hi, Mimi. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so I've got my main lining on there, and then you wanna get your other lining pocket right sides together. The way you know you're doing this right is all of your right sides will be together right now. Okay, let's move these zippers down. So my linings are right sides together, and my main panel are right sides together. And then I will sew that on at a 1 4th inch seam allowance and then top stitch. What level, Margaret, what level would you call the bag you're making? Um, I'll let you know in about an hour. I'm not sure. I want to say this is probably an intermediate just because of some of the steps. Um, especially towards the end. Or maybe an advanced beginner. No, she rates her patterns. I didn't look at that part. All right, so those are my lining pieces. Cute. Next, we want to base on our pockets, okay? So you want to make sure it's laying uh, with the main, place the main. Your panels are folded back out of the way. Okay, so you want to make sure your lining pocket is folded out of the way for this, okay? And we are going to snap on, and hopefully they line up, <laughs> our um, outside pocket pieces. Come on, snap. 
There it goes. All right, it's snapped on there. All right, and then we're gonna baste that onto our main pocket or our main exterior. So my lining is slipped out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna baste that on. Looks like for me, my pocket is just a tiny bit over. So I'll have to trim it down a bit. You see, it's just a little bit longer. But that's okay. to do with the placement of the magnetic snaps is what I'm guessing. All right, so go ahead and repeat that. So see, there's my pocket, super cool. That is really cool. All right, so go ahead and flip your lining out of the way and repeat for the other side. Uh, this just has one side, one size, Nicole. Hi, Kathy from Georgia. Welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I didn't know they were supposed to line up. Oh, whoops. Yeah, maybe. I didn't think about that. Does she say that in the pattern? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That is a great point, and I'm not sure. I'll wait to trim this one down then. But I think, yeah, I don't know. Because you add the bottom on next and I, there's nowhere in the pattern where it says it's gonna be longer, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure, I guess we'll find out, guys. Oh, she said that in her video. Okay, well, whoops. I trimmed one side down and I wasn't supposed to, so don't trim it down. <laughs> I didn't catch that part. I think it'll be okay still though. All right, so there is my outside two pieces and then I wanna get my bottom piece. And add that to the bottom of your bag. This is one of the parts that I feel like is gonna be tricky um, and you don't have to do this if you don't want to. When we sew this on, we're going to flip it over. We're going to top stitch. We're going to attach it to the other side and we need to top stitch through the machine with all the layers that can get a little tricky, um, to do. So it's up to you whether you want to top stitch these bottom layers. Okay. Hopefully that made sense. I don't know if I make sense all the time, but all right, so we are sewing this at a half inch seam allowance. Oh, should I do it? I kind of want to. The pocket was supposed to be moved down to the bottom. Was it supposed to be moved down to the bottom? So this has more I don't get that oh I see what you mean place the pockets magnetic snaps on the lining pocket it should be just about an eighth higher than the snaps oh okay uh -huh. I did this wrong guys I didn't read the directions so you're supposed to line up the bottom of these before you you don't snap them in place your snaps are gonna be up a little bit higher and then you're supposed to sew it so you won't 
you line up your bottoms first. Um, don't line up your snaps. I see what you guys are saying. Um, it might be lopsided, yeah. Yep. I mean, yeah, it might be. <laughs> well, I mean, what I could do is sew this on like this and have a little extra hanging off, which I think is what I'll do. Okay. It's okay, guys. It's fine. So don't do what I just did, basically. Don't trim it off like that. You're supposed to line up the bottom of this pocket to the bottom of the bag. See, I should have paid more attention when I was watching the other tutorials and read the directions, huh? It's okay. All right, I'm top stitching this. And... Top stitch through the bottom panel. I better read my instructions more. There we go. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, guys. We'll see how crazy if this still works or not. I don't know. Hmm. What I'm going to do is line this up just a little bit farther down here. So that makes up for that extra that I should have. Does that make sense? Because I cut it off. We'll see if that solves it. Because with this side, I lined it up with the bottom of the back. I don't know. There we go. I honestly have never sewn one of these barrel bags before. So this is a first for me. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, all right, so now we need to sew this bottom. We need to top stitch this. So what we need to do is open this zipper and we're kind of gonna top stitch it through the zipper. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. So you kind of have to sew through the hole here. So I'm gonna stick this under and I'm sticking my bag under. I did watch this part because I was worried about it. <laughs> uh, my bag is a little bit stiffer than usual. Okay, here we go. I know this is really super hard to see and I don't know if you can kind of get the gist of what I'm doing here. All right. not horrible actually that's doable I think just getting it under there was the hardest part got it we got it guys Okay, uh, that actually wasn't that bad. I'm pretty sure the hardest part was getting it under my foot in this bag. The actual stitching part wasn't hard. So now you wanna repeat with your lining side. Let me double check. <laughs> yes, repeat this process, but don't. you don't have to top stitch this part, okay? So just repeat adding the bottom and sewing those together. 
We're getting there, guys. It wasn't that hard. It really wasn't that hard top stitching it, guys. It really wasn't. Just go through that hole in your um, in your top, in your zipper. It wasn't that bad. I was worried about that. Now I'm just worried about the binding. <laughs> I really need to get a drink. Just a second. Mm. My cute colored label, Wanda, is from Heartwood and Hyde. It's cork, actually, and I absolutely love it. Go check her out, Heartwood and Hyde. Her name is Jade, and she's fabulous. She does amazing tags. All right, and then take the other side and do the same thing. Now I'm all worried that the shape isn't gonna work because how I messed up the front pocket, so we'll see. Or maybe the pocket will be too tight. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Hopefully it's not that huge of a deal, but we'll see. And I'm just doing a half inch seam allowance on this bottom piece. You don't wanna make it smaller. You want it to match up with the rest. Okay, so next, I'm pretty sure we need to, let me return the bag lining side out. I'm reading. I am trying to follow the pattern, guys. Okay. So from here, we want to All right, let me think about this. So I want to grab it from here, I think, and pull it through. Is that right? Let's see. I think that's what it is. Cuz I want this to go on the other side. Right? And mine's a little bit tougher because I did use Decaville, I think, and not the foam. Okay, I think this is right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So your exterior and your lining are supposed to be even. Is mine? Yeah, I think it'll be good. I have to work with it a bit. No, I think it's okay. All right. So you should look like this. There's my outside. Here's my lining. Oh, that lighting. Sorry about that. Let me turn that off. Is that better? I don't even know, guys. Nope. I need this. Okay, so next we want to baste these together because they need to be one piece. So I'm going to line up my bottom pieces first, which we'll see if they line up. Yeah, I think they do. Oh, my clip broke. Okay. And then this other side. I'll put it down in my lap a little bit more. Oh, it's this dark color. That's why the lighting's being all funky because I'm sewing with a dark color. All right, so far so good. Here we go. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
Oh, see, this side seems a little bit bigger. Shoot. I think we can stretch it. I think so. I think we're okay. I think we're okay, guys. I got it. I got this. Okay, I think it'll fit. <laughs> See, you guys asked me to film my first go around, so just don't do all my mistakes. All right, so that, see, I think I can make that work though. I think I've got it. So I'm gonna baste this all together and yeah, and then continue. Here we go. This is where I start to worry. All right, here we go. And I think I'm just going to You guys see this? You know what? I think from here on out, I'm gonna move you on the other side. I'll make this bag work, guys. Oh, there's my dog. Marley. Marley May. She's sound asleep. <laughs> All right, we'll figure this out. Here we go. All right, so I'm just basting these two layers together. All right, I'm just kind of checking everything. Yeah, that might be funky in the end, but I think it'll be okay. All right, other side, let's do it. <laughs> Thanks guys. <laughs> All right, lining my bottom sides up first here. That's how I'm telling if I'm in the center. I'm lining my bottom seams up here. And then it seems to all line up from there. Oh, okay. So after this, we have to clip on the sides and then bind them. It's gonna be the longest part of the whole thing. I feel like the rest of the bag goes together really fast. It's probably just these side panels that will take the longest piecing together. So just have some patience. All right. Yeah, I tend to keep going when I make a mistake and try and make it work because after I put all that time into it, I want it I want 
to have something to show for it. And I love this fabric, so we can make this work, I think. And if we can't, then we'll find out. <laughs> but I don't see why it can't work. Sorry, just a minute. I don't know what I did. I wasn't paying attention. And I, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and change out my bobbin real quick because I know it's getting on the low side. So why I am here, I'm just gonna change it. Sorry about that, guys. The joys of live. You have to watch me mess with my machine. Yeah, we were getting pretty close. All right. There we go. Hi, Maggie. It's all right, I think you're here for the hardest part. <laughs> all right, let's continue. Sometimes as I go around, all my clips come out. I don't know about you, but look at all these clips thinking they can come off. All right, there we go. I really think once it's all bound and finished, it'll look fine. Thanks for the encouragement, guys. It's hard to have an audience look at, uh, watch your screw up sometimes. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. All right. There we go. Phew. Oh, Margaret. Good luck with work. All right, so next we want to get our side panel pieces. I think this is a difficult part, getting this on there, so we'll see. So I want to line up my top center first, and I do have these clipped. I have my panels clipped. So I know where my center is, and I'm guessing right there for this. Um, I did, I'm gonna do something Lauren Mormino did. She just stitched this tiny part in place first. So I'm gonna do that. I thought that's really smart. And then she did that on the bottom, and then she sewed it all together. And that probably really helps with it not moving while you're sewing it all on. So I'm just gonna put a couple of tiny little stitches right up here to keep that in place. Okay, just right there. Did I even get it? <laughs> right under, the, under there. <laughs> Got it, all right? And then I'm gonna go down and do that on the bottom as well. Yeah, I would staple on this, but um, with binding, 
being added to it, it would just, it would take forever. So I'm not going to staple. I am going to just sew that down to my bottom here. So it just stays in place. You could whip stitch if you wanted to. Um, that works as well. Um, Joe from Country Cow, she does that on a lot of her patterns. So lots of different ways to do it, I feel. It's up to you. I'm hoping this all fits <laughs> because of my little screw up. So we'll see. And then I better read. That actually fits in there pretty nicely. Yeah. I just have a tiny little wrinkle spot that I think will probably even out once I sew it in. Fits in there pretty nice. All right, continue. Oh, good, Sharon, that helped uh, stitching it in those two places. That's good. So once you have a million clips on your side panel, <laughs> go ahead and sew that around. This says a half inch. I'm doing a fourth. Um, the only reason is for that, I don't think my binding will cover a half inch stitch. So if you understand what I mean by that, your binding has to cover up whatever stitching you're doing here. And mine is not white enough. So I'm gonna base this on with a one fourth inch seam allowance. Okay. What did I do wrong, Susanna? I messed up um, just the piecing together of the front pockets and it kind of messes up the size of it, but I think it'll be okay. All right, here we go. My bag is super um, sturdy. <laughs> this is gonna be a bear to turn. All right, I'm gonna start right here. Um, I think my stiletto might be a little useful. And I was worried that this would be a little too thick and I don't think it is because I kept all of my, um, I kept all of my interfacing out of my seam allowances and I don't feel like it's crazy thick. Not any thicker than any other binding patterns that I have done, like Aura Rosa's. So I think we're good. Oops, I need to make 
sure my needle's in before I move it. Come on, Kasaya. I'm sorry, I'm using a dark material. I didn't realize I was going to be filming this when I was cutting it out, so I usually use lighter material so it's easier to see, but. Sorry about that. I don't think that's getting it. Just a minute. I think it moved. Let's see. Yep, you see it moved right there? I could tell. I could tell it was coming up. So I'm just going to take that out just a tiny bit and push it back in there into place. So I don't want my side to be shaped weird. Okay. So I'm going to just push that back up in there. I don't want it coming out. Go to your home. All right. And let's try that one more time. I mean, really, when you bind it, it gives it a second good layer of stitching, which is nice. But I like to make sure that this part looks okay as well. Oh, see, and my whole thing came out right there. Oh my gosh. Uh. It's all right, guys. okay you get to see the struggles it's not wanting to stay clipped there I think I got it I think I did it working up a sweat. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, I would do staples, but it's just the finding and ripping them out, I can't. It'd take forever. It's okay. I'm almost there, guys. Almost there. I got this. This may not be the prettiest bag when I'm done. That's okay. I'm learning. <laughs> All right, let's see. Did I catch it? See, this is the only part, whoops. This is the only part where it's not done right there. So I'm just going to go that, over that real quick. The rest looks okay. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But I think it'll work in the end. So let me go over this little end right here. And I think I'm going to have to do it from this side. Nope. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to say words. <laughs> you know what? Hmm. I think I'm just going to trim that and when I bind it, it'll catch it. I'm going to trim this down 
and then when I bind it, it'll go up against right here and it'll catch it. So I think that'll be okay. So let's try that. All right, here we go. Um, hi, Lizzie. Oh, I'm sorry you're having surgery. I hope everything's okay. I don't have binder clips, Kathleen. Those are much stronger, aren't they? I should invest in some of those, I guess. All right, I'm just using um, waterproof canvas to bind. I think in her video, she uses elastic. So you can kind of do what you want for binding. I am trimming this down so it's just flush with my Just a minute, I forgot to do that. See, this is the part that I was worried about. It's gonna take a while, so what's our time at? Yeah. All right, here we go. Hi, Brittany. You accidentally took a nap? Good for you. Take that nap, girl. I'm gonna take a nap after this. Oh, it's gonna be nerve wracking when I turn this out to see what these sides look like. This just may be a bag for me. <laughs> That's okay. Hi, Melissa. Yeah, um, again, I was worried about the thickness. It is not thick. It is not very thick along the edges, so that's good to know. Oh no, are you kidding me? Look at, it's short. I cut it to the length, I cut it longer than the length that she said in the pattern, but I bet because um, she was using elastic and I'm using waterproof canvas that mine is too short. So I need to go, <laughs> I need to go cut out two pieces real quick. Look, it's like that much short and I'll be right back. Or I could go like this. I wonder if I could go like this. No, I'm gonna go cut out um, two more pieces real quick. Charlotte, say hello to everybody. Okay. Well, I have to get this out. <laughs> hello. <sighs> Tell them about your day. No. You don't want to? No. It's been a boring day. It's been a boring day. I didn't do anything fun today. So. Oh no. I was wondering where the movie name was. Can you say hi to the camera? Everybody that said hi to me, Riley says hi, and I say hi. Almost there. Did you see Marcus? Did you see Marcus? <laughs> Bye, Marley. she out of here? Yeah. My summer is great.
I'm not feeling good. I'm just waiting for my mom. Okay, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> is it hot in Denver? Yes, it's hot for us. This isn't the nicest cut piece of facing. All right. <laughs> All right. Sorry, guys. Woo-wee. Now I'm really sweating. She's cute. She's a handful. All she's been saying to me all summer is how bored she is, so that's great. <laughs> Anybody want to come entertain Charlotte? That'd be nice. All right, let's try this again. This one should be long enough. <laughs> so just make note, if you were not using elastic, you need to cut it a little bit longer than what she has in the pattern. I sh That's my fault. I should have measured this out, and I was just kind of assuming. That's okay. Teach her Tonsi. What's that? What's that, Jennifer? Did I lose a bunch of people? No? Okay. We can do this. Must be the age, Brittany, seriously. Constant. We used to have neighborhood kids that were her age and they moved away. And so she doesn't have those instant playmates anymore. Like she used to. Oh, teach her to sew. Yeah, I've tried a couple times. It's really time consuming and um, she gets bored easily. <laughs> All right, this one's long enough. Yay! <laughs> I think we got it, guys. There we go. All right. Whew. Findings on. Oh, my clips are popping. I swear I lose so many clips when I bind things. All right, here we go. Hi, Suzanne. We're at the very end, the most crazy part. Here we go. Let me see here. All right, wish me luck. Here we go. <laughs> My clips are just popping off. I need binder clips. That would be the solution. See, normally if I was pre-recording this, I could just fast forward this part. And so it looks like it doesn't take as long as it does. <laughs>
Okay, so I got it all on both sides. I'm not sure what it looks like on the outside. Oh, it looks good. Okay, I think we're okay. <laughs> Whew. Like I am physically like hot and sweating and it's cold down in my basement. Okay, here we go. We could do this. <laughs> we can do this. Is this the right? Okay, I've got another thing of binding. Here we go. We did one side. We only got one more to go, right? Here we go. Repeat. All right, match our centers up again. I think that did help stitching just the little tops in place. So I'm going to do that again. Here we go. Yeah, doing lives and sewing the bottom of this bag is not for the faint of heart. That's for sure. Figuring out where my center was on that. There it is. These little corners right here are giving me a run for my money little curve. I'm not sure how it's going to look on the other side or when we're done. So we'll see. All right. I'm just going to stitch this along. all on. I hope it'll look good. We'll see. If not, Charlotte has another bag. <laughs> Charlotte likes to take my ones that I don't want to sell. <laughs> She's got quite the collection going. one fit on pretty nicely. Hopefully it just stays put. I'm tempted just to like, ooh, you know what I'm going to do? This is what I'm going to do. I'm clipping just this, or I'm clipping. I am stapling just this corner right here. I'll remove them, but I feel like this was the spot that I had trouble on last time. So I'm just going to do a couple staples right there, and then I'll pull them out before I bind. Maybe that'll help um, keep that in place. And then I don't have to staple the whole entire thing. So let's try that. Why not? Okay. Norma, I use staples too, but usually I can trim the staples off and with this, 
I can't trim it. I'll have to take them all out, which is kind of a pain. So I don't want to staple the whole thing, but you totally could. You could staple this whole thing up if you wanted to. But I just did these two corners and I think that might help a lot with getting this all done. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. Um, I have so much patience. <laughs> it's because I'm on camera. <laughs> all right, here we go. Whew. Judith, you're welcome. I've been trying to be quick at getting my orders out for everybody. Something sounds off. Just a minute. Yep. My staple got stuck in there. Another reason I don't love doing staples, see? Ah, I should have stapled it from the other way so the flat part was um, down on my feed. So if you staple, make sure you do that. I could hear it. That totally did help keep that edge together though. 100% suggest doing that if you're having problems. <laughs> I do need a safety helmet, Sharon. <laughs> That's funny. Please. Oh, my clips are coming off again. Phew. I would say the binding necessarily isn't the difficult part. It's this part right here. I feel like the binding was somewhat doable compared to um, this sewing around all this. So I feel like once you have this part done, you're good to go. Don't worry, I'm watching my fingers. to invest in binder clips and a helmet, right? Is that what we've decided? <laughs> Almost done, guys. Almost got it. I really am literally sweating, though. Hi, Donna. Hi, Cindy. You're good. This is the most entertaining part right here. Watching me fight a bag. I'm almost there. Got that much to go. I think um, part of the reason I'm struggling, 
just FYI, is because of my waterproof canvas and my thicker interfacing, because I wanted more of a firm shape. So I think that's part of my struggle as well. And I realize that. today okay man here we go now I just need to put the binding on this and <laughs> that's the last of it and I did this under two hours can you even believe it I cannot all right let me just thread this back in here a goalie mask <laughs> that's awesome all right I will not let this bag beat me, guys, because it is adorable, and I'm super excited for it. <laughs> okay? Okay. I think it would be easier if I used lighter materials. I definitely recommend doing the stapler thing on the corners. I think that majorly helped with this side, even though it seemed like I struggled. It was a lot easier and tacking the top and the bottom really helped too. But I mean, who doesn't love a good challenge, guys? It's rewarding in the end, right? Do it. All right, staples are out. Looking at my work here, it looks okay. I'm just going to trim this a tiny bit because I want it to be even. Okay. Let's do it. do this guys I am super excited for the end results I really am uh, yeah that's okay all right sorry I was just looking at a stitching it looks okay here we go <laughs> thanks guys thanks for the encouragement uh, I'm doing kind of a harder bag for my next video too called the Clover Convertible Bag by Blue Kala. She's allowing me to do it and I have it all cut out. But that one, I will practice first. <laughs> that will not be a first go round. I am super excited though. It is an adorable pattern. You see how full my trash is? Gosh. <sighs> Why is it that taking out the trash is too hard to do sometimes? I don't know. It's so simple. I just keep pushing everything down. My stiletto is from Etsy from a store called Quill and Hive. It's awesome. It's my favorite.
All right, we're almost there. All right, last one. And then do you guys think I can turn this? <laughs> My hands might be dead. Here we go. I'm like, I need to breathe just for a second. Let me take a drink. <laughs> All right, hi Cheryl. Welcome, welcome. Here we go. Um, I don't think there's any good way to start or good side. I usually like to start on a flat side, though. So. Here we go. Come on. my clips guys sewing is hard work Annette <laughs> like my arms and fingers hurt so bad sometimes after I'm done I can tell my hands are gonna hurt after this bag Bye, Suzette. Thanks for watching. Almost there. Thanks for hanging in with me, everybody. How do you get presser foot to walk one step at a time? Um, with the wheel, the crank. This isn't the prettiest binding you've ever seen, but it sure works. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go over it right here one more time because I felt it kind of, my foot was uneven and I want the stitching to be okay on the outside. So I'm just going to go over this part one more time. There we go. And I'm gonna double check the other side. I'm 
I'm gonna do this corner again one more time. You know, I could always, if I really wanted to, and I don't like the way it looks when I turn it out, I could give it one more good stitch um, to the side of this stitch. Now that it's all held in place, if I don't really care what my binding looks like, that's totally an option. That's right there. All right, let me just go over this real quick. All right, here we go. All right. Everybody hold your breath for me and cross your fingers. Here we go. Um, is it better to use waterproof canvas for binding? I don't know if it's better. Um, I'm just, it's easy because I have it and I just have to cut strips. So, all right. Here we go. My shirt says dead inside, but caffeinated. <laughs> so I'm grabbing the bottom and I'm just gonna be pushing it through. One side at a time. Fingers and toes, thank you. Oh, big thread. I'm just doing that. Well, this is definitely gonna be a sturdy bag. Here we go. Kathleen, I'm so glad. Um, I have heard if you um, heat up, oh, sorry, heat up waterproof canvas, it will be more flexible. So that's an option always. I'm almost there, guys. I know it looks like I'm struggling, but I really am almost there. <laughs> okay. Physically sweating. It's fine. All right. So it's okay. I I'm gonna tell you the truth. I need to go and do another round of stitches. I mean, if it was for me, I wouldn't. But if I was selling it because do you see that right there? I didn't catch the stitching right there. You can see some stitching right there. Um, I didn't do a big enough seam allowance or it slipped right there, most likely. So um, yeah, if I was selling this, I would turn it, I would turn it back inside out. Oh my gosh, or I would have my, you see how red I am? <laughs> Seriously, so hot. I would have my husband turn it right side out because he has stronger hands than me. And I would do a bigger seam allowance around my binding and that would solve any of this um, stitching showing on this side. So it's fixable. You can totally fix it. That would be my suggestion. Um, other than that, you know, the mistake I made of 
not, or of cutting that little edge off and not doing it far enough down, I think that didn't make or break this bag. It is still an adorable bag. I absolutely love the pattern. Okay, here we go. Look at this. It is super cute. Got some wrinkles I need to get out, but I mean, it's adorable. Yay. So all we have to do is put on the handles, which I'm not gonna do on camera. Um, just like this. I'll just show you real quick with some clips. Thanks for watching guys. It really is an amazing pattern. I think I struggled so much because of the materials I chose to use. So that's on me. I feel like if you use cotton, it would be a lot easier because you could manipulate and maneuver it better. But look at that. Oh my goodness. It's a cute pattern. I love it. I would totally make this again. I probably wouldn't use as much stiff materials though. Even though I love the shape, um, it was a little bit more difficult with these materials. So cotton for sure. And yeah, thank you guys for joining. Um, watching me go through the first time with this bag. It's a learning experience first time through. So definitely go give this a try. Don't make this like, be like, oh, I can't do it. You can. Just don't use crazy stiff materials like I did and you'll be good. It'll be fine. <sighs> um, when is your thread supply due in? I have some thread in now. I have another order of thread coming in a couple weeks. Um, yep, I'm gonna go take a nap. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. All right, <laughs> bye guys.